Hi friends, this is Good Life Television. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for joining us. This is our station, you know. Today, I want to tell you the signs you will see, the times, the signs you will check, that you know whether God is in support of your relationship or your movement. God cannot come down to talk to you, but He must show you signs. He must do one thing or the other that will make you realize whether the decision you are about to take is the right one or the wrong one. Don't overlook it. Don't ignore it. It's very important. Meanwhile, I want to say thank you for clicking, for following me, for subscribing to Good Life Television. Let me go straight to the topic I want to share with you today. So many people, they are not being careful about what they are doing. If you are with the wrong person in life, God will tell you. I want you to take notice of this. Let me show you the signs you will use to know. Number one, when you want to make the first step to show seriousness, let me take for instance, in marriage, maybe you've been in a relationship, you've been managing it, you've been patching it, you don't want to give up because of one thing or the other you like in that relationship. But when God is telling you it's not the right thing, let me tell you the sign he will give you. The first day you will step out for maybe introduction, you will have a very big disappointment. Some people, maybe your car that is very, very good, that it will not start immediately. God is saying something. Maybe that day, if you are a lady, the clothes you've been preparing, you've been organizing to wear, you find out that that day the cloth is no more good, or something stained, or something happened. There must be something terrible that will happen that day that will almost bring an end to your move that day. But if you are not the type that listens to God, you will force yourself and God will leave you alone. And you will regret that movement. Maybe you want to buy something. Let me give you another instance. You went to the place, you want to test it. The thing refused to work immediately. But because you have made up your mind, you will want to buy, you like this or you like that. You will force them or they will start changing, doing one thing or the other. My brother, my sister, stop. Listen to God. Save yourself. If you close your ears to what God is saying, you will regret that movement. Again, another sign is this. If you are in a relationship and God don't want you to continue, look at what you will always experience in that relationship. The person in question will always threaten you that he or she will quit the relationship. Very small provocation. When you provoke the person, very little. The next word you hear is, I will end this relationship. He will always use this word or you threaten you. But if you are deaf ear, you will still push yourself. The person is continuing because maybe he's a gold digger. He has something he wants to get from you. The person is not for you. God is telling you to quit. That is one thing. When you are in a relationship, once in a while, try to provocate your partner and check his relations. If he threatens you of ending the relationship or irrational behavior that goes out of what is happening immediately, my sister, my brother, don't continue that relationship. God is talking to you. Hear God and have peace. You will find peace another place. Don't think that's the end of the world. No. 
God is preparing another better thing for you. You have to listen to God. The next thing is this. Whenever you are talking or the issue of your family comes up, he will talk to you and your family disrespectful. He will not have any regard or respect for your family. Even he will talk to you disrespectful in front of your people. And you will find out that your family members will tell you why will this happen. Maybe you have a deaf ear, you want to continue and you want to pretend that all is well. God is talking to you. All is not well. I don't know why I have to say this. Are you a sister? You are in this channel. You are planning to marry. Look out for these three signs. If you don't see it, well, God bless your marriage. But if you, don't, if you see these things happening, don't say God did not warn you. Don't suffer yourself. You have a better tomorrow. God is preparing a better person tomorrow for you. Don't just force yourself into a relationship. You will enjoy yourself. So many people have died. So many people have gotten heartbroken. So many people have been dismayed completely because they forced themselves into a relationship or into action that God warned them not to do. But because they are ignorant or they have deaf ear to how God talks to us. They keep misbehaving and they will suffer it. I don't want you to suffer. This is Good Life Television. is my utmost desire that my viewers, my subscribers, and my people are very happy and healthy in life. Life is too short for you to endure. What did I say? Life is too short for you to endure. Don't subject yourself to suffering. You will regret it. You will grow old. And you will not be happy with yourself. You will make a lot of mistakes. And you will always cry. It's not good for you. Listen to what God says. And do a better thing with your life. Thank you as you click subscribe if you have not subscribed press the icon button bell so that you get other of our videos god bless you as you hearken to the voice of god goodbye